Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Okay, today I want to talk about peanuts. Uh, I've been taking this from a long time and this has been an important part of my diet. Uh, so let's look at the facts, the nutrition facts. 100 grams of uh, peanuts contain about 567 calories, 16.13 grams of carbohydrates, 25.80 grams of protein, 49.24 grams of fat and also 8.5 milligrams of dietary fiber and that's a good source of energy guys uh, now let's look at the vitamins it contains uh, uh, most of the vitamin B's uh, look at vitamin A, vitamin E, good source of vitamin E as well good for your skin and now look, looking at the minerals it contains calcium 9% 9 9 calcium 92, 92 milligrams one point 144 micrograms of copper uh, that's a great source of copper guys uh, copper actually is very good for your energy production it increases the absorption of iron so copper is very good for you guys uh, 4.58 milligrams of iron magnesium 168 milligrams it's very good uh, manganese wow 84% of manganese in 100 grams of Peanuts. Now manganese is very good for your joints guys, uh, a lot of supplements contain manganese. So if you have a joints issues, if you're looking for a joint supplement, you can also take peanuts as well. It's a good source of phosphorus, uh, selenium and also zinc. The zinc also increases your testosterone. Zinc, magnesium increases your testosterone. So if you look at it, it increases your testosterone in many ways. Uh, uh, it contains uh, monounsaturated fat that, lose, uh, that, that, uh, that could help you with the uh, body fat reduction and uh, there are a lot of benefits of it. So now let's quickly look at the amino acid profile and uh, at the end of this video you can look at the description section down below. You can check the links for where I found this information from. So let me just check here. Okay. So I want to talk about the about the amino acid profile. Now, amino acid profile is based on 36.5 grams of peanuts. That's about one serving. Look at alanine, guys. 0.37 gram arginine. That's my favorite. 1.12 grams of arginine and 36. So if you take about 100 grams of peanuts in a day, that would equals to 1.12 grams of arginine. So that's a lot of arginine guys. Sorry, that will be on uh, 2.24, almost uh, 2.5 grams of L-arginine. Aspartic acid, uh, cysteine, glutamic acid. Glutamic acid is a precursor to glutamine. As you can see, it almost contains uh, 1.95 grams of glutamine in only 36.5 grams of peanuts. It contains L-glycine, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, Methionine. Uh, now look at tyrosine, guys. Valine. It's it, it's a good source of BCAs. Uh, tyrosine is there, good for your thyroid. So it's a complete food, guys. I would say uh, I'm a big fan of peanuts. It helped me lose a lot of fat. It's a very it has a very low glycemic index, guys. It does not increases it does not raises your insulin level. So it's it's very beneficial for your fat loss. So for people who are vegetarian. I think this is a superfood for them. If you do not take eggs, if you do not take any sort of meat or chicken, uh, you can just go for peanuts. Now, I just wanted to clarify this fact that I just advocated the use of peanuts in bodybuilding. I don't want you to get confused that it will increase your body fat since because it contains fat. No, it simply has more calories but you have to make sure about your about your serving size as well I'm not recommending you to eat a hundred grams of peanuts every day or maybe 150 grams of peanuts every day I'm just recommending you at least two servings of peanuts that's about 90 grams yes if you check your calories if you're planning your um, schedule and if you're if you're uh, making sure about your nutrition and the calories you can have two servings a day and it will be very nutritional for you guys it is very good for your testosterone, especially for men and for women as well. 
it's very good for your skin, for your hair, it's very good for your brain, eye function. Now fats are not necessarily mean the bad thing. The only thing you need to be aware about is that you have to be uh, sure about that you're not taking trans fat. That's like the fat that we get in a fast food. So I would recommend the use of peanuts guys. Uh, please make sure that you take at least two servings a day, specifically if you're if you're a vegetarian, it will help you a lot in testosterone production, in lean gains, in, in if you're increasing your muscle size, and if you're increasing your aesthetics. It's a very good food for you guys. Uh, now, the thing that is not good is peanut butter. I mean, I know a lot of you guys like peanut butter. You can just spread it on any any other thing. You can put it in a whey powder. You know. You can just put in a protein shake, you just shake it up and just have it like that. But you have to be very careful on what product you select. Because a lot of uh, peanut butter out there contain hydrogenated vegetable oil, you know. That's a trans fat guys. You have to be very careful that you don't take any product that contains or that reads hydrogenated vegetable oil or hydrogenated oil. It's not good for you. So stay away from those products guys. So once again it's a very good source of protein, it's a very good source of good fats, it's a very good source of vitamin B. It's an, it's, I would say it's a complete food, a miracle food if you take it seriously. Take it every day guys, you don't have to miss it. Uh, I would prefer the use of raw uh, peanuts, not the ones that come uh, baked or salted. Those are not good for you, those are high sodium. So. Take this protein every day guys, it's good for you, it's very good for you. So in case if you have any questions let me know. Uh, I'll be making a video about my diet soon and also more videos to come. Thanks for your time guys, have a good day, bye bye.